Right now at 8, a close call at Logan. Two planes nearly collide on the runway. Right now, the FAA is investigating what went wrong, and tonight we're hearing from a passenger who was on one of those planes. Thanks for joining us. I'm Chris Tanaka. We want to show you how close this was. A private jet crossed the runway in front of a jet blue plane just as that pilot was attempting to land. WBZ's Brandon Truitt has the latest from Logan. The pilots did a really incredible job. I mean, we, we came in, it was a scary situation, but it was very smooth. Like, it wasn't like it was a jolting experience. It wasn't a jerky experience. We just went back up into the air and came back around and landed. Adam Johnson was on the JetBlue flight 206 from Nashville, ordered to abort its landing. He says he knew something was off, but had no clue the close call he was encountering, finding out the next day on the news. This is one of the most vulnerable phases of flight. Um, it's also where the traffic is the most dense. The FAA says on Monday night, a JetBlue flight from Nashville was cleared to land just before 7, when a Learjet planning to use a crossing runway took off without permission. That JetBlue flight ordered to abort landing and perform a turnaround. Runway heading up to, uh, sorry, we're sitting in the altitude. 3,000. 3,000. Tracking from Flight Radar 24 shows that JetBlue flight coming up from the bottom of the screen. The Learjet just to the left pulls out in front of it. The JetBlue flight ultimately pulls up and circles back around. The FAA says the pilot of the JetBlue aircraft took evasive action and initiated a climb out as the Learjet crossed the intersection. The FAA says the Learjet repeated instructions to stay put but ultimately took off anyway. It was just the latest instance of a close call at an airport. New York's JFK had an instance last month, and Burbank, California, had a similar case last week, leaving many wondering what's going on. That's exactly what we all want to know. Robert Sumwalt, former chair of the National Transportation Safety Board, says close call incidents are on the rise, going from around eight a year to nearly 20 on average, with the FAA now investigating. And they're really going to want to find out was there a communications breakdown? Was there a distraction involved? For its part, JetBlue says safety at JetBlue is our first priority, and our crews are trained to react to situations like this. That Learjet, the smaller plane, is operated by Hopajet. It's a company that's often used for private charters. We reached out to Hopajet and have not heard back. At Logan, Brandon Truett, WBC News.